So um, hi guys once again, and yeah, so welcome to the first inaugural meeting of Hyperledger India Chapter Student Society. So as Aninamis had uh, stated, this is a society, basically a student wing of the Hi India Chapter. Um, we we want this community to be a community by students of students for the students, right? Uh, so. As part of our inaugural meeting, we have uh, this agenda. So right now we'll be me uh, calling the meeting to order. Um, and yeah, then we will have to take an attendance just to know who, how many people are here. We have a couple of guests uh, for this inaugural meeting. So our guests are Arun and Kamlesh from from Hyperledge India chapter. They are the co-leads of the Hyperledge India chapter. And uh, this was one of uh, their ideas to start this uh, student society. Um, so, yeah, uh, it's awesome to have them here. Awesome to uh, be there for this uh, amazing event. Without further ado, I pass it on to Arun uh, to give the inaugural speech for the Hyperledge India Chapter Student Society. Awesome. Thanks, Robin. Thanks, Anina. So it's it's been my uh, pleasure to represent the Hyperledge India Chapter here in this call. And it's it's been our dream, right, since the inception of Hyperledger India chapter to grow the community and reach out to students. And we couldn't be more happier than to have a student society, which is represented by students and faculties or professors from different universities within India and represent, uh, represent them. And in, in terms of coordination, it makes us much more easier to reach out to different students. And it also builds us platform so that we can share across um, any anything which we have, right? So let's say there are internship opportunities at Hyperledger, then it becomes much easier for us to pass it on through this channel. And let's say there are um, additional information, which uh, it could be uh, along with mentorship, there are contribution opportunities, whatever the new happenings are, are at Hyperledger, we could uh, create this platform. And along with that, the other, important area of what I see benefit of this Hyperledger India chapter student society is that, um, so we, we all know that everybody wants to be job ready when, when they graduate from colleges. And it's, it's sure that we don't expect everyone to know everything, but we look for opportunities, available opportunities. So Hyperledger India chapter does organize multiple events throughout the year, could be in form of hackathon, it could be in form of um, learning sessions. It could be in form of, let's say, building or bringing together industry experts and then having them to speak at our forums. So having a forum like this, a student society where it's completely controlled and managed by students and of course, overlooked by professors and faculties from different universities, it allows them to um, grow much more faster. It allows them to have the feedback being taken uh, from the student side. So we are very happy to do whatever is possible from our end to build and grow this community. And then we are expecting uh, students to come together, join us and take it to next next step. So it all depends on how you take it from here. And we are, we are really excited to have um, this forum. And with that, I would, pass it on to next agenda item and and thank you again for all of you to to get this thing done and i really want to also appreciate the effort saint gates college especially has taken in, in getting together this thing and we are really great to have you in the community yeah uh thank you Aaron, for that uh wonderful uh, uh speech uh so yeah, we're, it, it's wonderful to have you here, and yeah. Um, so next item on the agenda is introduction of the co-lead of the Hyperledge India Chapter Student Society. So we have Gokulnath uh, Sir from St. Kitts Group of Institutions who will be acting as our co-lead, um, and he will be uh, you know, representing the faculty side um, you know, monitoring the activities, reporting back to Hyperledger in the chapter, all of that stuff. So, um, uh, Goku, sir, could you uh, speak a few words? Sure. Thank you, Robin. 
and hello everyone good evening myself kokul i'm a faculty and also a research scholar in the department of computer science at st gates college of engineering and it gives me a great uh, privilege and responsibility uh, for being a co-leader of this prestigious community and this is the first of a kind uh, society uh, started uh, for the students um, and also for the academy uh, professors faculty members uh, to get a closer look at the hyperledger activities and also thereby promoting your skill set enhancing your knowledge in the uh, area of blockchain technology uh, the, the primary aim of the society which i feel is to bring uh, awareness among the blockchain technology uh, through the projects of hyperledger um, and also uh, for the uh, academic community especially for the students um, to get uh, Uh, more uh, student centric activities uh, like uh, study circle internship opportunities project competitions type of presentations hackathons and only with the uh, mutual cooperation and uh, participation uh, uh, with all the members uh, faculty as well as students we could achieve all this and a first of a kind activity uh, which is going to happen soon is the hyper hack 21 uh, it's a two week hackathon and uh, starting from march 21st to uh, april 5th organized by hyperledger india chapter and singets uh, group of institution sponsored by chain stack snapper future tech and hyperledger social impact uh, sig uh this perhaps is the, uh, the this is the second edition of the hyper hack uh, conducted by uh, india chapter and this introduces a special track for the student projects and a separate evaluation for the student projects as well and i urge all of you to participate and register in this particular event and get uh, benefited uh, by the most of this event and finally to be a part of this society uh, is to collaborate with the students across the country uh, those who are interested in the area of blockchain uh, contact and also participate in events and um, i hope you all will uh, come forward to uh, take up responsibilities we will be sharing uh, those responsibilities and we could uh, together uh, make this society uh, move forward uh, in its own unique way and we expect to have um, uh, event organizers uh, event promoters um, speakers presenters and also uh, critics uh, with uh, constructive feedbacks uh, and also uh, volunteers participants to take up initiatives and to bring this uh, society further ahead and this is only uh, starting and uh, we expect to have more uh, meetings um, get to others and so on so uh, to be happen and let's all collaborate and make the society uh, a because success thank you awesome uh yeah so thank you google sir for those uh, wonderful words um so um the hyperledger student society india chapter student society we ha we have uh, a code of conduct which is uh, taken from hyperledger itself so basically uh, you can just read through this uh, it, it's basically a, you know mainstream uh don't do stuff that would hurt others uh, don't do uh, don't do anything abusive or that invades anyone's personal privacy or anything uh we have a couple of social channels in order to you know stay updated on whatever we do so we have a linkedin uh linkedin page uh for the student society where we'll be po uh, posting a lot of our updates our events our announcements and all that stuff but if you want to have a more personal connection with uh peers and students all over the country um i recommend you to join the discord uh server that we have uh so this is where we have a lot of we are planning to have a lot of discussions you know if you have doubts if you've got um uh, if you've got projects or if you've got ideas you want to talk to us uh you know uh like on the spot Uh, the discord is the best place to reach us to reach everyone we're trying to build a community so we feel that communication should be uh, really important and that's why we have this uh, uh discord server um and yeah 
uh, but that said, we have, uh, you know, rules in order not to invade people's privacy. So please take care of that as well. Um, um, okay, and then we, as Google so said, we need you to grow this community. And that means we need volunteers uh, and contributors uh, for these roles. So like we need an activities coordinator, uh, you know, someone who can pitch in ideas and organize these events uh, such as this. Um, you know, we need social media coordinators, someone who can take charge of the LinkedIn pages, maybe someone who can probably be active in the Discord, uh, you know, try and engage the community. And if you're into that, just, uh, you know, I, in the meeting attendance form, you have the, the form, uh, you have an option to uh, indicate which you're interested in, and then we'll reach out to you regarding that. Um, and this is just an initial set of roles and responsibilities to get started. Uh, moving forward, we could have potential other roles as per uh, situation uh, arises. And, you know, the selection criteria and all is, uh, you know, just uh, there's no specific criteria. It's just like your self-interest, how much uh, how much you want to contribute. Uh, there's no fixed timing and everything. So, yeah, it's just voluntary uh, just to, you know, improve your connections, network with people. You can meet people from Hyperledger. High pleasure, high pleasure India chapter. You can meet industry professionals. You can talk to them, work with them, uh, and all of that stuff. Uh, okay, and yeah, now we have uh, Kamlesh uh, to give an introductory lecture on blockchain and uh, high pleasure technologies. Uh, Kamlesh, I invite you onto the stage. Yeah, thank you, Robin. So. Uh... Can you let me share the screen? Yep, one sec. Okay. So, okay, I think. You can see my screen, right? Yep. Yep. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, so this is all about the hyperledger. So if, so code is just not the hyperledger. We have uh, different working groups, community and different meetup groups, training certification. So uh, last year we uh, celebrated the fifth year birthday of the hyperledger. And till that we have 16 projects, four projects are production ready, fabric, indie, uh, um, Sartooth and uh, Iroha. And uh, then uh, uh, Fabric is 2.0 release. And then uh, there are 16 different working groups. So uh, in the Hyperledger, uh, created some different working groups uh, in supply chain, trade finance, or uh, yeah. So trade finance and specific domains like telecom, identity management, trade finance. And this is the overall Hyperledger momentum in last five years. So Hyperledger, so when Hyperledger founded it, uh, on that time that Ethereum and the cryptocurrency and that uh, smart contract, public blockchain, people are talking about. So Hyperledger when founded to uh, the more focus on the modular architecture, and and not to focus on the cryptocurrency. So in the hyperledger, there is no cryptocurrency. There is no crypto. Uh, is purely for the enterprise application, the enterprise systems. And, and this is a hyperledger greenhouse. When you are talking about the hyperledger, so this is complete hyperledger projects. So in the hyperledger greenhouse, there are some DLTs, some libraries, some tools, and some domain specific uh, codes and some labs. So above five, these are the five different uh, DLTs. So Fabric, everyone knows, Indies knows, Iroha, Sartooth, Buro, Besu. So Beiru, Besu is an Ethereum client, Java-based client, which is recently uh, contributed by the consensus. And uh, on that time also, Ethereum and Triple Alliance become the Hyperledger member. So all these five are different DLTs. So it comes with the complete uh, blockchain features. Is a smart contract, uh, database, um, consensus, all this comes in, in the picture. 
and there some are libraries so library is some kind of add on to this protocols how you build the system very effectively like suppose hyper aries so if you are building the identity management platform using the indi so how you can do the peer to peer communication did communication so there is aries has some kind of sdk then library is to work with the indi uh, blockchain similarly there are different like quilt is a interledger protocol how to bring the communication and kind of interledger protocol communication then transact so transact is a set of libraries to bring the interoperability at the smart contract layer so when you are writing the smart contract for the fabric the same code could be written to the uh, could be used in the different uh, blockchain frameworks then usa is a set of different cryptographic libraries and algorithms similarly some tools to make the development and deployment easy like there is a celo is there explorer is there caliper cactus and then some hyperledger web so uh, every blockchain every project in the hyperledger start from the their hyperledger labs is a starting point so if you have an idea you want to contribute something you could start the your project in their labs then it will in the in, then it will mature to the incubation stage in the hyperledger main project and then it will go to the active status so so all this other project are the active hyperledger projects and recently the aries also is uh, graduated to the active status in the in yesterday only in the psc people decided it to be uh, make it active so in the contribution opportunities so every uh, everybody is is a contributing opportunity whether you are I want to be contribute to fabric so there are lots of new model like for example bft consensus is also in development so you can contribute the bft code here you can uh, there is a implementation of the different features there are uh, help wanted you can contribute there there is a cactus is a lots of um, opportunities to be because is a is is a project to uh, bring the interoperability between the different blockchain projects so in the cactus they are trying to integrate with the fabric and coda so there is a lots of contribution availability here and then there is a there is a one blockchain automation framework is under the hyperledger labs where it uh, making the any blockchain deployment easy with the ansible jenkins and different kind of automation tools so here you can contribute and as a developer as a you are a student so you should definitely uh, subscribe this development weekly uh, postcard so it will give the what's happening in the hyperledger code and projects and communities and you will every week you deliver this on your mail id so this is good to be start you can understand the projects what is happening there and this is the last year's update so hyperledger fabric recently released the fabric 2.2 is their lts and basu is also releasing the different version with the 20.10 so so the contribution there are opportunities to contribute in the uh, and there is no worry about the programming language you concern whether is need to be understand only go in the in the start you can contribute in the rust go in the in the fabric there is uh, multiple languages go java script java uh, even type script and uh, basu uh, they are using the go i think solidity is a main language and java there is a java sdk actually java client so language is no bar and this is a research and development work lots of new features are being added so this is all you can do in the hyperledger and so let me just i wanted to show you this this one so uh, so uh, as a as a developer you can contribute but as a as a as a as a domain expert as a, as a industry expert you can also contribute something whether you suppose you enter in the healthcare so you can join the hyperledger healthcare working group 
there is social impact group there is a capital market trade finance public sector you could involve there and you could contribute something there so that's all from my side to start the in the hyperledger journey so um, i would like to add some something more to that uh, slack if if you um, yeah. um, kamlesh if you can reshare that so like that yeah so the the point which yeah. we want to um, make over here and especially for student community is um, so you you under, when you when you hear about the term hyperledger right it's it's not uh, it's not that typical group which you hear in your colleges or in your universities so imagine hyperledger to be a project hyperledger itself is a project in fact it's a project under linux foundation so this project hosts multiple blockchain solutions within itself so anything within hyperledger you see it's all implementation it's all to deal with blockchain so when whenever you think about open source blockchain you can blindly say okay hyperledger all the projects under hyperledger are all open source are all towards blockchain initiatives and this is this is the greenhouse umbrella maybe this will refactor a bit the way this the way this is currently represented but the real point what we wanted to make over here is each of these projects are connected to hype blockchain some way or, or the other way either it is possible that they themselves are blockchain implementations or they use uh, or they are either like sdks or some kind of code which will in then connect to the main blockchain network for you to write your applications and each of them have contribution opportunities when i say contribution opportunity it's really a uh, add on for your skills at at colleges right so if you say hey i have open source contribution experience on blockchain that really adds up to your value the the final year resume or whatever it could be there if it is for a job or for your further studies in your education so that's a real add on for that's a real benefit what students can gain and it's not like they are so difficult that nobody can understand Basu is completely in Java, which you already learn in your colleges, right? And some of those projects are in Python language. Some of them are in C plus plus, for example. So it's all up to you. Even if you just understand what each project does, I mean, we are happy to organize learning sessions in the coming weeks. It's not possible for us to cover each of them in one session. We want to give uh, socializing time in this call. But assuming that each of them. Um, have i mean we will talk over each of them possible opportunities it's all community driven right so if you have a requirement you just reach out to on one of those modes either linkedin or discord channel and say hey i want to learn more about this specific project or just say that hey i i'm interested in java language i want to contrib i want to see contribution opportunities in java we we are happy to organize all possible learning sessions and we are even happy to connect you with any industry experts who you want us to connect you with so that's what the real point which we wanted to make out here right and in addition to that it's it's like um so there are few steps being taken within hyperledger which will make it more further much easier going forward so there will be a page which says this is first issue which means anybody who understands simple programming they will be able to contribute to those kind of issues so that's how easy we want to build it so as you build the community stronger so we we are building this community so that we can reach out to people more people through common modes of communication we want to make let's say an announcement and we want to we want that to reach out to a larger people and then if you would like to coordinate for these events and spread this information within your community in your locality maybe in your city in your state in your university do feel free to reach out to us so that is what the coordinator thing which we were talking about initially um so over there i will stop yeah. and then we can move to next agenda item yeah Okay, awesome. Uh, thank you both uh, for that wonderful explanation on uh, hyperledger technologies. Um, let me just share my screen once again. Okay, um, awesome. Can you see my screen? Yeah. So, um, yeah. So basically, now, if you guys have any questions 
do combination a rule regarding this uh, session that we just took right now. Um, please just. Uh, yeah, you can ask question to anyone. Even uh, Arun yeah. is there to answer. Yeah. So much combination technical. Arun. Yeah. So if uh, anyone has any doubts uh, regarding what is just told here. I don't see any questions in the chat. Um, uh, so, yeah, I see why someone has unmuted. Come on. Hi, uh, Harsh here. So, can there be uh, some uh, technical questions also, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. We are, we are more than happy to answer. Okay. Yes. So, just when you were, uh, you know, giving a brief on hyperledger technologies, so uh, I remembered you, you said something for Hyperledger Transact, like we can deploy our uh, smart contracts in any kind of blockchain platforms, right? Hmm. So like, what is that? What, what is it? Like, is it a, like I've, I've worked in Daml earlier, so it does the same thing for Fabric and Sorto. So what, correct, like correct. is Transact a language or a tool library? So transact you imagine it to be a library right um, transact is a library which you can use to build your own blockchain so transact is actually multifold what it allows you to do is you can attach let's say you gave an example of daml so daml is abstracting smart contract language from the underlying blockchain you can write one single smart contract and you can deploy it for Fabric, you can deploy it for Ethereum, you can deploy it for Sawtooth. So Transact also allows you to do that. Transact does it a little differently from what Daml does. What Transact allows you to do is you have to write your engine, smart contract execution engine. So that execution engine understands your smart contract and that execution engine attaches to Transact Imagine it to be like a Lego um, bricks, right? You all know how Lego works. You attach mm -hmm. different pieces together and then you get the final thing working with you. So transact takes like that. You attach a smart contract engine, which can compile, let's say, chain code language, which is specifically for fabric. So you mm -hmm. attach that on one side. On the other side, you attach a, another distributed ledger. It could be uh, sort of Besu or anything. Unless, so right now the currently supported ledgers are Sawtooth and Splinter, but as more and more uh, ledgers are supported on Transact, so you can imagine Transact to be like that, a Lego kind of project, which allows you to plug and play different components at different layers. So advantage of this is you can take advantages of execution engines on one side, on the other side, you can take advantages of your input. So different blockchains have different ways of giving input. Some of them are better than others, right? So it allows you to parallelize your request, submit transactions and run them in parallel. So with this plug and play concept within Transact, it allows you to uh, like use them as a Lego pieces and then get what you want to achieve. That's how you can visualize Transact to be. It is currently completely written in Rust language. Oh, okay. So Hyperledger, uh, this Splinter you were talking about, this is also a Hyperledger blockchain platform. Splinter, no. Splinter is outside Hyperledger. It's hosted outside. Okay. So, so like you, this transact gives us a three layer kind of thing. One layer is the bl main blockchain platform. Then the second layer is the engine. And the third layer is where you would write your code. That's right. So transact, not I cannot categorize them in three layers, but you can imagine transact to be, as I said, a plug and play kind of module. You can remove on one side uh, ledger, let's say you currently attach Sawtooth, right? And then yeah. in future, maybe when fabric support has come, you can remove Sawtooth and you can attach fabric over there. And your smart contract engine will still remain same because transact takes care of converting your inputs transactions to fabric ledger. So it uses fabric ledger to store your data. Execution is your sort of smart contract. Okay. okay. You can, so whatever bigger components you can imagine. Okay, let's say when we say talk about a blockchain, right? 
we need a storage place where i need to okay. store actual blocks where i need to store my transactions the data so that's the storage part second thing which i need is consensus part i need a way in which blockchain can blockchain nodes can agree to each other and so transactions correct so endorsement is a way of agreeing for a transaction right so we have storage we have consensus module then what else we have um, i mean contract transaction uh, i mean the execution engines something which can run the input transactions so you can if you can imagine and fourthly uh, the way in which uh, the ledger is uh, getting to consensus and creating the blocks so if, if you can imagine each of these building blocks of any blockchain uh, as a separate entity or a separate module transact allows you to plug and play these individual components from different projects Okay, so like in future, if you want to change your ledger, you can do that very easily. That's right. That's that's the futuristic goal of Transact. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And I also saw a question. So it's not a paid membership, or it's not everybody is welcome at Hyperledger. In fact, we should have put up on the uh, slide deck. So Hyperledger for, uh, follows uh, the code of conduct from Linux Foundation, and we all we believe all are all are welcome, right? So at Hyperledger, there is no discrimination. There is there is nothing anything of any sort. It's all open community. Everything is available in open. So whatever information you want about Hyperledger, it's all there somewhere, and and either in website or wiki. it's only that you need to search that and find it out that's how open it is so there is another question like as a beginner which tool should i go with so if i say about myself so i started with fabric so it could be anything you interest me maybe you can interest in the identity so then you can start with nd you can start with satooth like maybe i think arun started with satooth right right arun i started with fabric and then switched to sorto that's right so any project is fine you can start with anything sir what would be the best uh, resources to learn about these projects like from scratch and building all the projects to the way up hyperledger fabric doc uh, hyperledger documentation everything is documented properly how to get started so if you search like hyperledger fabric getting this get started you will get the that uh, uh, document properly hosted on the uh, read the docs so let me share the one so similarly you can find for the other projects too simple so, um, uh, yeah yeah right so this is where we can help you as well right so uh, we understand that as students it is not that you are used to reading documentation of a project and getting started on that but that's how it generally happens in stress so when we start start with a new project we generally read documentation about that project we try to understand what that project does we read design documents and all so this is where we can bridge you so if you let's say if all of you want to start on specific project fabric then we can come and join in and then say we can take sessions for you or we can even ask industry experts so kamlesh in fact runs um, i mean one of the organization kamlesh which is part of it they also do indian blockchain institute yeah. they run um, blockchain training courses so maybe kamlesh can bridge you with experts who can come and train you they will start you start over from beginning right they will teach you um, from basics from from what you know to where you want to be and it's all on your side so you build the community and then you come up with a request you ask in some form either in discord channel or rocket chat or mailing list or linkedin whichever form you feel is is preferable for you just ask question hey i want to learn this specific framework we will organize learning sessions for you in fact i would like to take pass and give anina a chance because i know she uh, she was speaking about conducting learning sessions Yeah, thanks, Arun. So, what 
what we basically aim as because i am from uh, i am basically from academy i am i know personally a lot of students who are struggling to build their projects in fabric and suit so uh, what we thought of doing is to uh, you know arrange a kind of study circle or something to help students to bridge that gap so we are actually uh, planning to uh, get expert from the industry and take sessions for them in order to uh, bridge that gap yeah, that's what we are actually planning and one more thing i want to point out here is so yes different frameworks do support different languages so one thing which you need to um, be aware is that it's it's i mean there are different layers right so for example if you are using fabric for application development then you don't you just need to know how fabric works or how fabric uh, how to write application on fabric you don't need to know how fabric does create a block in internals of fabric you don't need to know where how fabric itself is written right all you need to know is how fabric works for you to write an application so that's where most of us are required to be in so uh, you generally don't find people asking hey how can i uh, how to learn internals of fabric no that's very rare unless you want to start contributing to fabric itself you wouldn't generally do that so if you are interested in application development that should not take you more time that and in fact most of these projects they do come with sdks or software development toolkits it allows you to um, write your code so that by making let's say you, you all know interface concept in java so what does interface do it allows you to create multiple classes which can implement that one specific interface right so imagine sdk to be place which has interface i mean your actual code has interface fabric and for you to connect to that fabric you want another code which implements the networking aspects where you don't worry about how to connect to fabric all you worry about is how to write your application and whenever it it is required for you to send data to fabric or receive data from fabric which is your application part you make use of that sdk sdk does implement all your networking aspects for you you really don't need to worry about it so that's what the concept of sdk is in very simple terms right um and even sdk itself is a project if you are interested in digging through it understanding how sdk works then that is one of the opportunity in which you can contribute back to hyperledger or if you are interested in application development then use one of the available sdk in any language and develop your application so there are multiple possibilities even apart from these there are opportunities to contribute um in documentation as well right um i think i can I'll again switch over to anina to talk about the effort which is currently going yeah as an effort to contribute to the community we uh, of course we we from saying it's actually started this uh, documentation effort but it's open for all uh, especially for the people who are in kerala because we are uh, currently doing a translation of hyperledger fabric documentation to malayalam so as a as a first step to contribute to the community we started with translation efforts in malayalam and soon after completing the malayalam translation we are focusing to switch to hindi translation uh and of course it's open for all to join so i was really interested in the sigs that have been going on uh, especially the capital market one so can you tell us more about what's going on in that and kamlesh do you want to take it sorry uh, what was the question sir so i wanted uh, i wanted to know about the sig that has been going on about the capital market one okay so in the capital market one for example the, the cbdc is now uh, trending uh, buzzword kind of digital currency by the instant, uh, kind of central governments central banks so there is a one project kind of ethaler so there are lots of different projects and the what the work being being in the capital market space is a financial services business so all the projects uh, all the tasks uh, um, kind of details is being circulated there or every 
by week every by week there is a presentation about the specific projects uh, happening uh, with the hyperledger fabric implement hyperledger implementations so if you want if you want to join that you can subscribe to that uh, capital market sig calendar thank you sir I Thanks. I see a question from Aparajita Pandey. So she says that she is faculty uh, from Tripoli Department, uh, from which semester I believe, and she says she has gone through training and then she is looking for a project which can be developed on renewable sharing. So that's awesome. Um, So uh, yeah, please do let us know how we can help you over there. I mean, we can organize peer-to-peer -peer programming model where we can bring in people who are experts on specific uh, platform, get them working together. And we are even happy to um, organize special calls for you to speak about or ask for contributions. We can even try to host this in Hyperledger Labs. So even if you need any kind of... Uh... Uh, and domain expertise currently i am working with a similar project from my, one of the client in the renewable energy space in the fabric only so i also can guide you okay okay so, so immediate opportunities I believe if there are more questions, please do ask. I mean, I would, I want to again reiterate the immediate opportunities available for all the students, right? So at present, there is mentorship opportunities at Hyperledger, which is internship opportunity, in fact, which you can apply, which is open for everyone, available for everyone. And the second opportunity, which is very immediate, is on Hyperhack. It's conducted by Hyperledger India chapter and co-organized by St. Gates and Hyperledger's um, SIC, Social Impact Special Interest Group. And these are immediately available opportunities. And apart from this, we do have other options, which is Hyperledger Global Forum, which is a conference where which you can present your ideas. You can submit a so call for proposal on that conference is going to end on March 11th. There's so much happening within Hyperledger space that there's so much to do at any point in time. Sir, are there any guidelines for teams in Hyperhack 2021? Like how many members can we have or there's a limit like we have to have four members or more like that? I think there is different notes. I think even though as an individual, you can also be participate in the hackathon. I think max right. is four, right? Yeah. There is no restriction on number of people. I mean, the max restriction is, of course, four, but you can participate as individual as well. Uh, so there's a question, uh, any documentation for Sawtooth plus IoT project? So there is, I'm not sure specifically about IoT plus Sawtooth project, but there is a Sawtooth supply chain example, which uh, you can refer to. Um, so you're asking about example example projects, right? So Hyperledger does have example projects, but they're not uh, like production ready. They are just for example, for references, right? If you want to productionize them, you, you may need to take it from there and build your further stack. So search for Sawtooth Simple Supply example. It's there as an education material as well. You will get a course, edX course on that, I believe that closely matches to sort of plus IOT project. And again, we are happy to organize a special. In fact, last week there was a session, not last week, this week there was a session from one of the professor from QUT, 
Queensland University of Technology, who presented uh, use, I mean, use of blockchain with IoT. And we are happy to organize more sessions like that. I see one other, another question which asks, any mentor on that? I, I didn't get the question, Sonali. He's talking about the Satukta's IoT project, I think. Mentor for that project or what? Hello? Yes. Yeah, so I was just wondering, uh, I'm trying to implement the similar project where we can connect the sensors data to. So sim sample uh, project, yes, but if we want to take it further and if, if anyone can guide from the industry, that would be a great help. Excellent. Or so reach out maybe to us on Rocket Chat or, or Discord channel. Happy to help you further on that. Okay, okay, great. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yep. Uh, also, we've also posted the uh, hyperhack registration form uh, in case anyone wants to participate. It's also put into the Discord. Um, so if anyone wants to participate or register a team right now, uh, you can do that. Um, yeah. So is there any other questions? Yes, yeah, so like uh, I've been interested in research, uh, researchers and patents, like I have uh, also filed a patent in networking. So if we want to do something like that, so can like you all are uh, working on these projects for a very long time. So can you mentor us in that projects if there's something going on? Always happy to help on mentors. Um, so I, I don't know from perspective of patent, but sure on, on understanding the concept, but definitely yes. Oh, sir, any, any feature or any, uh, what was that? Sir, can you repeat the question, please? You asked something about the patent filing for the any blockchain thing or what? Yes, sir. I wanted, what I wanted to ask was like, uh, if we go through the college uh, proposals and all, then sir, there are many restrictions to us. Like I'm in second year, so sometimes the teachers are not willing to go out and all. And there was one time that teacher was not willing to publish only that paper. So I wanted to ask if you can help out in that perspective. Yeah, obviously. So I, I think uh, there are different many opportunities, whether you can submit your paper to IEEE on different uh, different publications, media. Even the hyperledger also, you can submit some kind of blog and some kind of your paper and it will be published. And even you can... So, so nowadays in the different SIGs, like recently uh, the telecom SIG written some uh, white paper in the IoT plus blockchain integration. So it could write anything and you can submit to the respective SIG. Then you submit it. Right. Divanch, I would like to, I mean, re-ask the question because I believe you are asking specifically about if Hyperledger can help in yes, publishing sir. it in some places. Is that what your question is? Yes, sir. Okay. So... That's an avenue which is not directly available, but if you do have a good concept and if we identified, I mean, if you think that that is something worth publishing, then definitely do reach out to us. What we, we can help you from Hyperledger India chapter is connect you with special interest groups or maybe connect you with staff at Hyperledger, depending on the quality of the paper which you're submitting. And then there is an avenue from SIGs to publish it as a white paper, uh, as Hyperledger. So that won't be that would be published as a white paper through Hyperledger. Thank you, sir. So if you have any further questions, feel free to uh, post the queries on Discord or LinkedIn, where the community members will be happy to help. So maybe you maybe we can move on to our next agenda. So uh, basically, our next agenda agenda is the networking session. Uh, so basically, we want you to introduce yourselves. We want to know you better. Uh, so the stage is all yours. Uh, so you can mention uh, who you are, your university, college, uh, what you expect from the student society, and anything you want to add. Uh, so yeah, the stage is all yours right now. Uh, you can unmute and uh, talk.
I think maybe we could start with you, Robin, so that everyone get an idea how it will be done. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, to introduce myself, I am a I am a student from Saint Kitts College of Engineering uh, from Kerala. Um, I have I've I've been in the blockchain space. I've been actively following it for about more than a year. Uh, so almost reaching two years. Uh, I discovered blockchain in 2019 through a workshop of the Kerala Blockchain Academy, uh, which introduced me to blockchain. And um, yeah, and then I've been part of the Saint Gates Blockchain Club, where we've been uh, doing a lot of awesome stuff. I've also helped out. I've all. I'm also acting as a deputy to vice chair to IEEE's Blockchain Governance Standards and also a content writer for the Push Notification Service. Um, so yeah, I'm totally uh, excited about blockchain, the different opportunities and capabilities it has and it brings uh, to people. Uh, and I'm totally thrilled to be a part of the student society and I expect uh, you know the society to grow uh, tenfold uh, you know create more opportunities bring new opportunities you know be able to communicate with different people all over the country uh, you know work on projects together uh, because you know blockchain is a very collaborative technology uh, we can't be siloed to like a one college where you can't be siloed to one state one uh, place right uh, we if we want the blockchain to be uh, as uh, big as it is, uh, we need to be collaborative, and that's uh, and this is an effort to co uh, collaborate with people uh, all over the nation. Anyone else uh, wants to take the stage? Um, yeah. Hi everyone. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep. Continue. Uh, continue. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, so I'm Anuja. I'm a third year engineering student. Uh, I'm based out of Mumbai. So um, I actually discovered blockchain last year. Uh, I did a few courses on Coursera and that's what actually got me interested in this field. So then I started learning about um, Solidity and coding on Ethereum. And just recently I discovered Hyperledger also. So I've been trying to get uh, myself started in that field. Uh, so th through this society, I just want to meet uh, new people and collaborate on projects because my college as such does not have an active blockchain community. So through this society, I want to meet people. I want to work on interesting projects and uh, discover new applications that can be applied uh, using blockchain. So thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, that's a wonderful... Uh... Anyone else wants to um, take up the stage? Hey, everyone. Uh, Hello. Yes, Gautam. Uh, yes, um, I am Gautam B. Uh, I'm a third year BC student from Kerala. Uh, I came to know about Hyperledger uh, like uh, beginning of the last year, 2020. Like there was a workshop in TKM College, uh, Kollam. So I attended, att attended that, that workshop uh, like Mm, at that workshop, I got a, uh, I got, a, I got a more clear knowledge about um, Hyperledger project, uh, Ethereum, and smart contracts, all, all of that. And, uh, and then uh, the person who took the workshop, that is Adil Gafur, he is, uh, he got a startup called Python Technologies in Kochi. He is the one who guided me through uh, all the Hyperledger projects and. Like, uh, and I am also planning to do my last year project uh, in Hyperledger Fabric. I hope, I, I hope someone of you could help me <laughs> in completing that. That's it. That's awesome. Um, yeah, as I think Arun and Kamlesh told, you probably get a lot of uh, mentorship and help from here. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so let's just, uh, before uh, anyone else, uh, can we just, uh, you know, take like a group photo? Let, I'll just stop sharing my screen. Um, I'm just, uh, you know, since it's our first meeting, uh, can we all just, you know, uh, take a group photo, uh, you know, turn on your cameras if you are willing to, uh, so that we can, you know, smile and wave, to click a few pics before we uh, just give me a sec. Uh, okay. Um, 
um, I'm not able to take the screenshot. Um, Anina Miss, can you take a screenshot? I'm not able to take it. Yeah, sure. Okay, so if everyone's okay with it, uh, you can just turn on your cameras and uh, when Anina Miss says three to one, you can just smile and wave or something. <laughs> Okay, so uh, waiting for everyone to uh, turn on their camera if they are willing. So I will count down and you can smile and wave. Okay, so it's three, two, one, and go. Awesome. Uh did you take it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, so yeah, once again, uh, let's just go back to the networking. So if anyone wants to, uh, you know, introduce themselves uh, to the community, that would be awesome. Uh, sir, my name is Divyansh Garg. I'm from Dehradun, studying in Graphic Era, second year. I've be, I was working in cybersecurity from like three, four years preparing for OSCP. I got into blockchain from the perspective of security. Then I got interested into financial market uh, for blockchain. As you know, it's booming and it's the future. So I was expecting from this community to like, we can do projects, collaborate. And uh, I, I personally wanted to expand the blockchain, expand the knowledge of blockchain in my college as many students are not aware and those who are aware are not interested in uh, they are like scared of blockchain so i just wanted to expand it so that would be that's awesome divine so it's glad to see uh, people joining in from different parts of india and in fact trade finance is one of the area and uh, which we need to focus on and when it comes to security right so um, there are I mean, if you identify there are some vulnerabilities within Hyperledger project, there is way to, for you to report them, um, which which you can find, or we are happy to search that and, and send it out to you. And of course, so I would suggest you to get involved in projects like Ursa, since you are coming from that background, you may find it very interesting. So that literally has your mathematics implementation or, or cryptographic implementation, the pure mathematics part of it, right? So you can play around with your algorithms or your all your security things which you are interested in. And sure, so do let us know what kind of trainings or what kind of sessions you want. And we, we would look forward for you to build community further in your region, in your area. Thank you, sir. Anyone else who wants to introduce themselves? Hello. <laughs> yes. Uh, this is Rohit from Anna University, Chennai. And I came to know about blockchain uh, two months back. I learned blockchain through uh, Udemy, uh, learned solidity to uh, documentation. But uh, when it comes to project, I'm not able to implement it on my own. So I guess I came to know about Hyperledger two days back. So I think this would be helpful for me and I have so many mentors here. I'm happy for that so that I can develop my own project. I'm happy to work with others too. Awesome. Welcome, Rohit. Welcome. Anyone else? Come on. It's an open space. Yeah. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm from uh, this is Pritam from IIT Patna, a third year student. And I'm be, I have been playing with the uh, blockchain, Ether, uh, Hyperledger, Ethereum, and Bitcoin for from past three years. And uh, yeah, I have joined this uh, chapter just uh, to make sure that this chapter get expanded. And recently, I have uh, cleared my fabric certification exam so that's it. yeah thank you. So, yeah thank you Pritam. i think i i know i know you and i think you are kind of role model for the student community because certifying the fabric certification even you are not graduate yet so you can guide and help the other people to be reached at your level 
Yes. Of course. So um, I would also request you to, yeah, Prithik, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, but... no, I was just asking. So the, I checked out the fabric certification, and it was like uh, very costly for students. I was just wondering if there's a way we can like get a scholarship in that. Yeah, uh, I got my uh, examination from the certi scholarship only because oh. uh, Linux Foundation each year gives handouts uh, five to six hundred scholarship. Oh, you're talking about students. lift scholarship, I guess. Yeah. Oh, got it. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Right. And and Pritam, it would be also nice. So, um, Gokul Natchar has agreed upon to co-lead uh, this initiative, right? So, um, I mean, we need more hands to join with him and um, expand uh, the vision which we have, right? So, it will help if we have uh, more people joining hands. So do feel free to reach out to your professors in your colleges and then get them in touch. Yeah, definitely, yes. Are there any other faculty members? I heard some questions uh, from faculty. Can they join yeah. something like that? So it's open to uh, all. Uh, faculty members can also join. Definitely. Yeah, I... I had work under one professor, and I think he would be excited for this. So I'll talk to him. Sure, thank you. Uh, so should I go? Yes, yes. So hi, I'm Pratik. I'm also a third year undergraduate student from uh, IIT Vilay. Uh, so my journey in blockchain started back in uh, November 2018, and uh, uh, from them, uh, as like I begin, I started off with Bitcoin and Ethereum that quickly shifted to uh, Hyperledger Fabric as suggested by one of my professors. And then I have attended various sessions and trainings. Also, I, I once attended uh, like one session by Kamlesh sir at uh, Snapper Future Tech in Pune. Uh, uh, and currently, I'm working as a research assistant at Carnegie Mellon University. Uh, in a blockchain project and previously i have done uh, internship at tech mahindra and i have also worked under ishan roy sir at tamil nadu e governance agency yeah and so i'm looking forward to be uh, an active member of this club and interact with like minded people and students thank you yeah thank you Patrick. Uh, i remember we <laughs> Yeah, thank you. So um, one thing uh, I can clearly uh, feel here because when, when I was a student 10 years before, there was no such kind of platform like here in the student talking about the hyperledger, blockchain and even doing the certification. So I think it's very good. I think it's a, a very good platform to be uh, create your good career in the future. Yes, definitely. Anyone else? Okay, um, I'll take that as everyone is okay with uh, the networking session. All right, uh, so yeah, it's it's been awesome. Um, you know, uh, we've met a lot of new people uh, looks like a good start to this community uh, and i'm like uh, hopeful and you know enthusiastic about where it's going um, and yeah so the frequency uh, another thing i wanted to discuss which is on the agenda is um, the frequency of meetings so like uh, I, i'm currently leaning towards probably we'll have some kind of a session bi-weekly or monthly or something like that so i just wanted to do uh, you know get uh, some feedback on that so what what's comfortable for everyone uh, so we can have some kind of a recurring thing that's going on uh, you know to help you all out okay it looks like uh, i think we have weekly meetings of uh, india chapter right so we can have the students meeting after that i guess then uh, the co leads of hyperledger india chapter can also join and they can make time with 
back to back meeting like hyperledger india chapter and uh, indian chapter of the students community back to back meeting i guess that will work mm -hmm. okay uh, that that's one uh, way we can go uh, so you're suggesting weekly meetings like uh, yeah okay we can see that yes. so we'll have to see if we can get you know industry people to come and speak at every meeting but if other than that we can probably you know talk about what other events we can organize how to uh, keep things moving and how to improve and you know expand our reach so that's also one thing uh, that we need to keep in mind so yeah weekly meetings i think we can do that uh, uh arun uh, when is the hyperledger india chapter meetings Hey, uh, so I pledge to India chapter weekly meetings happen on Thursdays at 3 p.m. So um, I'm not sure if that would be appropriate time for students. So you people can decide on on best available time. And from meeting link or Zoom link, we can work on those aspects once you identify meeting time and when to meet aspects. Yeah, um, even I. I... probably 3 pm will be too early for like some universities or colleges uh, the classes won't be done by then i i'm thinking we can have something on the weekends which would be much more comfortable for everyone to join even for industry people if they want to come and talk uh, we can host some sessions so i'm leaning towards some kind of a weekend type of thing uh, if that's okay with everyone uh, we can discuss this on the discord as well if there's anyone else has any other idea uh, but just wanted to uh, put that down there Yeah, I think uh, everyone can plan for that, and uh, maybe uh, to be on that spot. Uh, we are running three minutes late. I don't know about accommodation. That will be a busy people and busy Yeah. So um, without any further ado, I would like uh, I would like to announce that this meeting has been adjourned. And yeah. So thank you everyone for coming. It was awesome to be there, uh, to have you all of you here. um i think we have one last question uh, will there be hands on sessions for different hyperledger frameworks uh, i believe so arun right so i'll 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 turn this back to anina on the um, learning sessions or or the weekly i don't know what do you call it uh, weekly meetings sessions or anything no <laughs> uh, the, i mean the learning sessions studies yeah, study, study circle study right circle. so yes as part of study circle we could have hands on as well yeah, sure. we plan for and also during the time yep and yeah, whatever are the requirements from the students you can post on the discord channel so that uh, we will get to know that and we will uh, make all those things happen that is what uh, the main aim of the yeah so like if you have any ideas like what do you want us to do like if you want any events to be done like hands on sessions if you want some kind of a paper presentation type of thing where you want to present your papers to the rest of the community over here we can arrange that uh, i think that's also a wonderful space we can uh, we can do over here if you have like any project ideas if you're working on a project you can present that over here uh, in front of everyone so that's pretty cool so yeah So, if you yeah. have any idea and you need a place to host your project, and Hyperledger Labs is is really good place where you can start working on right. If you want to contribute back, so do feel free to reach out. And you, I mean, since you are the community, you can form a group of yourself, contribute or develop things in in collaboration, and contribute it back. We are happy to help you in all possible ways, in whichever form it can be. Awesome. So yeah, with that, uh, I would say that this meeting meeting has been adjourned. Uh, thank you everyone for joining. Uh, it was fun to have you here. Uh, we can meet next time.